That's what I call an entrance. Welcome to the Blue Orchid. Hi, Warren. Thanks. Sex is the name. I believe I reserved a table for two on yes, the dance floor. Yes, you certainly did. Hi. I'm Frank Minnelli. I have a reservation for two near the dance floor. Yeah, you certainly have. So may I ask uh, which of you gentlemen is with Miss Shane tonight? I am. Make it work, Warren. I'm counting on you. Or that I've got this all taken care of. I believe I sent ahead, I sent an order ahead for a bottle of Margot 82. The Margot 82, indeed. I'll get it. The lady and I will have melon wrapped in prosciutto and a consomme a la madrelie. For the main course, we'd like a rack of lamb for two, asparagus tips, Duchess potatoes, and a watercress endive salad. <laughs> Did you rehearse this? <laughs> Yes, sir. And the dressing? Oil and vinegar. I'll do the mixing. Oh. <laughs> the lady and I will order shortly after I find out what she wants. Uh, in the meantime, uh, what would you like to drink? Uh, bourbon, thanks. Make that two. And uh, separate checks, please. Four, three, Put two. two. Very nice. not one moment to lose now that Alan's back and trying to take over his ball. still Vanessa as long as she's working for the enemy. I just wish she'd pitch in, come across any inside tips if she happens to buy. Don't you agree, Kyle? Can I tell you if you staying, Henry? Yeah, sir. Excuse me. Mm. Can you look at that? You got no claim on Reba. You ain't divorced yet. I'm aware of that. Maybe there's something else you ain't aware of, though. Reba's changed since she was in love with you. If you just back off a bit, you might see that you aren't right for each other anymore. If we ever were, you forgot to add. It's time you dropped Reba, Kyle, once and for all. HB, I know that you love Reba and you want to protect her, but there's no reason why you're the only one who's entitled to feel that way. <laughs> Excuse me? Again? Yeah, that's uh, right. Okay, guys, just uh, lighten up, okay? You know, this is getting kind of old. You heard the lady? You can always leave. Not in your life, Buster. Suit yourself. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. You're right. Ever since, uh, ever since she got back... ...to need to buy the journal again. When I refused outright, he brought Ben into it. Ben? Yes, he said that my caring for Ben showed that I was obsessive and unstable. No. Not only that, but he talked to Louie, and he said that if he didn't keep Ben away from me, that he would make sure that Ben was removed from Louie's custody. Kyle can't do that. You don't know. You've never seen his lawyers in action. Where's Ben now? He's upstairs. But as of tomorrow, during the daytime, he'll be spending time with someone that Kyle feels is a more suitable mother figure. Who's that? Oh, 
had a mean streak. I mean, I can't believe that guy. But persecuting you like this is it's like sadistic. There's just been so much pain. I wish it would end. Why can't it just end? Look. Maeve, there's something more going on here than you're letting on, isn't there? I wish you'd tell me. I can't. I can't do that either. Not now. Okay, here is the drill, lady. You're gonna run up them stairs, you're gonna dive into your closet, and you're gonna come out with your best-looking party frock. Then you're gonna dial Sophia, tell her to get over here to babysit. What are you talking about? What because for? it's time we got up, we got happy, we got over... Look, we're gonna go to the Blue Orchid tonight. Oh, no, no, not tonight. Yes, we are. Look, I promised you a night on the town, and tonight is the night I'm gonna deliver. Fletcher, I am not in a partying mood. <laughs> Maybe 30? <laughs> See ya! Uh, which of these two would you like first, Oh, just slap them both down here. I like a little variety. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Thanks. Don't you dare ask me which I like best. I like them both. <laughs> you are really getting a kick out of this, aren't you? Say, let the good times roll. Mm -hmm. What else gives you a charge? Oh, you'd be surprised. I bet shopping's right at the top of the list. Wrong. Maybe it's not so much what you do, but who you do it with. I mean, what do you think about patching the roof of a barn? Falling into a pit with a snake and a bunch of poison ivy? <laughs> Being thrown out of airplanes? <laughs> Dancing. How about yes. you? Oh, thank you. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Hi. Yes, uh, Senator Jack Conroy. We dine among the mighty of the earth tonight. <laughs> Young Kurt looks like he's playing footsie with Lillian. No, oh, take it easy, H.B. Cal and Ross are over there also, and they may even be discussing foundation business, although Vanessa didn't say anything about it. Well, how can Conroy discuss business with Lillian looking like that? Well, she's a remarkable woman. You have to admire her with what she's going through. Wouldn't you say so, Carl? Kyle. Don't you think it's time we got back to business at this table? Did you have some food? When that girl says the whole day, she really means it. <laughs> you know her. Uh, who is she? Oh, uh, no one. Uh, literally no one. Now, Senator, I've taken the liberty of uh, ordering a special menu. And to literally no one. <laughs> Fremont didn't do enough damage with the Samson Girl campaign. No, he has to up and join the opposition just to put icing on the cake. Oh, I know he's a newscaster at WJBR. What else is he up to? Trust me, we'll find out when we least expect it, just like we did with the mirror and the TV station. And I wouldn't worry about Jackson. He's just a spirit carrier. Our main worry is the journal. Is, is Reva always like this? Uh, so full of life. Oh, she's up or down. She's just bursting with energy all the time. <laughs> Please, you have to introduce me. Uh, oh, tell me, Senator. Senator. Uh, Lillian. Yes. I think you've been outflanked, my dear. I have no idea what you're saying. Don't go away, you guys. I'll be right back. Oh. After you. Sit down. Thanks. Hi. Hi, Reva. Reva, I'd like you to meet Senator Jack Conroy. This is Reva Shane, Senator. Oh, 
It's my pleasure, believe me. And nice to meet you, too. Lillian, I have a message for you from my pop. He said to have a good time tonight, but not to have too good a time. And he said to call you at company. You I get will. A chance. I will. Call him at company. I'll call when him. When you get a chance. <laughs> oh, he also said to stay away from my extra date. <laughs> Whichever one that is. <laughs> Senator, it's a shame you can't meet Reba's father. He's, he's just a wonderful man, and he's a very good family friend. <laughs> if he's anything at all like you, he must be very, very special. Thank you. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Sounds like you and Daddy Shane are an item. Oh, we see each other. I'm going home. Honey, I'm take home. it easy. Uh, please, uh, Reva, won't you join us? Oh, yes, Reva. Oh, please. you know, I, I, I'm really terribly busy. I oh, have my hands full. Oh, and Reva, we wouldn't, we wouldn't think of keeping you. I, you were dear to drop by, but you really shouldn't keep your suitors waiting. Uh, On second thought, I would love to oh, break. Good. Thank You're you good. so much. Here, you got my Oh, uh... Conroy, wait a minute. Senator Jack Conroy. That's right. I know you. They call you the garbage man. <laughs> well, you know, I, actually, I'm, I'm very flattered because statewide waste treatment plants are my pet projects. I miss my train, and I've decided to make the best of it. You call working for Spalding the best? Who? Alan Spalding? Well, naturally, I've heard of him, but I've never met the man. <laughs> Reba, tell me, do, do you always have this much fun? Well, not lately, but uh, just between you and me, from now on, I intend to. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Would you like to dance? I would love it. Oh, good. Oh, uh, Senator, Senator Conroy, that the hors d'oeuvres should be oh. here at any moment. I, for one, intend to have a good time tonight. After all, I'm with the most beautiful woman in Springfield. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I am in the hottest spot in Springfield. Go on. On second thought, let's hit the second hottest night nice spot. No, the first hottest spot is just fine. Then that's fine with me. Come on. Warren, there you are. Oh, Hi. Dave, nice to see you. Yeah. And I'll tell you what you can do for us. Will you please give us your most visible, your best table for two? I think that's just the thing. Follow me. Conroy. Oh, lovely. I'll put it right here, all right? Thanks, Warren. Okay. That's what we need. More bimbos in bikinis. Yeah, bimbos on parade on the front page. That'll sell more newspapers. Yeah, right, boss lady? Right? Right, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I know what's bugging me. Yeah. What are you talking about? There's nothing bugging me. Oh, sure. Sure. I suppose it has nothing to do with the fact that Reva's gonna start taking care of Ben tomorrow. Bingo. Look, Maeve, she's gonna be good with him. And none of this is Reva's fault. I know that, Fletcher. It's Kyle's fault. Double bingo. Look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you let me expense account this entire meal, and I'll take that bozo out into the alley, and I'm gonna slap him around for you, okay? Huh? What you say? <laughs> All right, okay, how about this one? I just caught my meal, I pay cash for yours. Huh? Why don't you shut up and dance with me? I can be had. <laughs> Something exciting, Reva, like a dance. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hi. I swear, I was going to call you in the morning. Jack. I promise. Were you ever... 
Mr. Johnny Bauer told me to... Looks like everybody's deserted me. Oh, hey, I'd, I'd love to sit, but uh, I've got my hands full with my double date, <laughs> which you're responsible for, Harlan, in case you forgot. Let them wait. I've been wanting to talk to you all night. H.B., don't tell me that you know Reva, too. You bet. Know her as well as anyone. <laughs> what, what, what is the connection between the three of you? <laughs> Reva's family. <laughs> Throwing himself at her feet at this party. Well, I'm wearing pants and I'm not. I'm with you. Remember? Find a place where we can go and party all night long. Sounds good to me. Seems to me Reva's dates might have a few things to say about that. Uh, uh, steady, boys. I'm coming back. this shindig somewhere else. Now everyone knows where I stand, right next to you. Good evening. I'm afraid there may be a short wait for a table. But not for Alan Spaulding. Nice to see you, Warren. Let's do it. Yeah, what the hell, it might be a little bit fun. Now hold it right there, Pilgrim. This table is too big for just two of us. We were hoping that you might want to join us. I know. Why, yes, of course, we'd be delighted. Thank you. We're all concerned about you. You know, darling. Vienna is a lovely city. I hope you had some time to enjoy it. No, not really. I spent most of my time with Dr. Reba Ben. Huh? I'm going to invite some people. Listen, whoever wants to come, this party at Reba Ben. All right. Uh, I hope that that means I'm invited, too. Uh, no. no. It sure does. I always say the more the merrier. We are going to party till dawn. <laughs> All right. Senator Conroy, I... Oh, Mrs. Here. Matthews, thank you again. I, I really had a wonderful oh, evening. Oh, well, I was hoping Thanks. that we could... We'll talk, I promise. Oh. Thank you again. I'm on Alan's table right now. I'd give a year's pay to know what they're talking about. <laughs> you sent her running like a scared rabbit. That's why she's got to sell me the journal. No matter what I have to do to force her. What are you talking about hitting below the belt? I'm fine. I just want to get home to see Ben. Mayor. I'm so scared. I have no idea why he did that. Are you sure that he doesn't know about the baby no. or the birth certificate? I made you a promise to have kept it. You believe me, don't you? talk to you tomorrow. I mean, no, no, I'm, go I'm going with you. I've had enough of Alan Spaulding tonight. Tonight? Palladino! <laughs> huh? yeah. Three uh, dates. I mean, I'm amazed. You are really cool. Oh, <laughs> nice to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> yeah. Well, these guys are in for a rude awakening. You see, they still think I'm available. Aren't you? Well, maybe tonight, but, uh, Tomorrow, I'm expecting a baby. Uh, may I please speak with Jessie? Uh, sure, she's right here. That is, if I can uh, pry her out of Simon's arms. <laughs> it's your mother. Hi, it's nice of you to call and check up on me. Oh, that's good. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, eat this. We made it just for you. What is it? It's a mushroom ham and cheese omelet. Oh. Looks like scrambled eggs. Well, he didn't have any mushrooms, cheese, or ham, so we had to make do. 
<laughs> it looks real tasty, though. Uh, I'll tell you what, Reva. Instead of that, uh, why don't I take you out for breakfast? These other two fellows can stay and clean up. Oh, that's sweet. But I really, I have to stay here because I'm, I'm babysitting today, remember? It, yeah, and if you leave now, you can still make roll call, Senator. Senator, Reba, what are you doing to me? Here I got an exclusive under my nose all this time, and I'm cooking breakfast? How about a quick interview? <laughs> what? With a mirror? Are you kidding? Well, I think I can trust old Sexton there. He has impeccable taste in women. Oh. Now, about the budget. Come on. I'll be right back. Okay. Thanks for breakfast. My pleasure. Oh, uh, we have some pictures right here now? Yeah, sure. Oh, Just a minute. I better get my clothes on. Oh, uh, Rick, oh, yeah. I'll be with you in the set. Hey, wait, wait. You, you get the phone, I'll get your camera. Good idea. Uh, hello? Oh, uh, hi, Reva. It's Maureen. Is Rick there? Oh, hi, Mo. Um, yeah, he is. Just a minute. Hold on. Uh, Rick, yeah. for you. Ooh. Hey. So Looney been around here. Yeah, tell me about it. Hello. Rick. Uh, come on, come on. Behave. Oh, good. Good smile. Good morning. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, now it's time. You guys have to move on out of here. I've got a baby due here any minute. I had a great time, in spite of an Ellie. <laughs> And now that I get my interview with the center, I can put my tab on my expense account. Is that why all the other reporters call you Mr. Driggs? Hey, why don't you go write some traffic tickets? Reva? Yeah. Thanks again. So what do you think? I'm not such a bad guy, huh? <laughs> can I call you? Sure. Listen, uh, I promise not to wear anything from the evidence room next time. Can I call you, too? <laughs> sure. I'd like that. Last night was uh, really special. Well, it was different anyway, huh? Well, listen, HB's asked me out to camp to uh, reassure the parents that the place is safe after the Blackburn incident, so uh, maybe I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe. I have to go out there to uh, give the kids a swimming lesson anyway. Great. <laughs> yeah, keep your shirt on! <laughs> oh, thank you. Ooh, thanks again. See you later. <laughs> okay. Um, now it's my turn, huh? <laughs> yeah. Ah! Hi. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Cedar's best residence. Nice to meet you. Same here. Uh, doctor, this isn't what it really looked like. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> it's true. I mean, Jack here is only one of five guys I spent the night with. Live and let live, as I always say. <laughs> and Reva was one of several women. Right. I guess that makes you a political animal, huh, Senator? <laughs> hey, that's not bad, Doctor. I like that. Not many people get the last word with me. I shall return. Okay, bye -bye. thanks. You sure you want to take Ben? I uh, don't want to interfere with your patriotic duty. Ah, uh -huh. that's cute, Louie. <laughs> it was all very innocent, and I will tell you all about it as soon as you grow up a little, okay? Besides, Ben and I, we've got a full day planned at camp. I might even give him a swimming lesson between naps. Uh, uh, swimming at Stony Lake? It's safe, Louie, believe me. That's the point of Parents' Day. We want to let everyone know the worst is over. Besides, I will have Ben back at your place on time tonight. Don't worry. Okay. Have a safe one. Okay. You too, guy. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye, thanks. Uh-huh. Oh. You made the right decision. As if I had a choice. No, not now. Kyle, please. Don't, you, you can't come in now. You called first. I could have saved you the trip. Well, I just wanted to make sure that you got home safely after uh, last night. Why wouldn't I? I had three strong escorts. <laughs> well, never can tell. Well, I'm fine, thanks. But I'm, I'm in a, a bit of a rush. I have to get over to the camp. Oh, well. Go right ahead. So do you have Ben staying with you here now? Yeah, I'm watching him during the day for Louie. Uh, how could I say no to the little guy? Oh, well, that's good. I know how fine you are. Yes. 
You want to hold on to them for me while I get everything uh, together here? Sure. There you go. Hey, bro. Oh, you got some little goobers on your lips. <laughs> yes, you do. Look, I'm going to be over at the camp myself a little later on. Maybe we can have that lunch that we had to postpone. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to be busy. Um, why are you going to be at the camp? Well, it's parents' day, and I figure I'll do some public relations for Samson Industries and try and convince the parents that it's okay that there's no danger after everything that happened at the lake. Boy, poor Lillian. I just hope she makes it through all of this. She seemed all right at Blue Orchid last night. Yeah, well, I think her appearance there was more show than anything. Yeah, she's not the only one who was putting on a show last night. You're talking about me. Yes, you attracted quite a lot of attention. I imagine that was more show than anything else. I was having a good time. Anything wrong with that? Well, no, I imagine that uh, Sexton and Manelli are harmless enough. But, uh, you know, I really should tell you about Jack. I know him. And he considers himself uh, quite the ladies' man. All right, I've heard just about enough. Now you're going to listen to me. For your information, I like Jack. I think he's fun, I think he's smart, he's sexy. <laughs> you think Jack is sexy? Yes, no. sexy. No, he's a professional charmer. Oh, okay, just wait a minute. Now, no, just listen to me. Furthermore, I do not think that Sexton and Minnelli are harmless. Are you trying to make me jealous? I just don't need your stamp of approval on my men friends. I happen to be a living, breathing woman in the prime of her life, and I intend to keep it that way. I'm not going to sit around waiting for something that may never happen. I'm not going to put my life on hold for, for no reason at all. Would you? Kyle, we had our chance once. Maybe that's all we'll ever get. I said I would return. Jack, come on in. I thought that bringing these over in person was the least I could do for spending the night. Uh oh. They're lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Look at her. Kyle? Lovely. Hello, Jack. <laughs> I will put them in water just as soon as I get out to the camp. Uh, could I give you a lift, please? Absolutely. That'd be very nice. Um, I'll just get Ben together. If you could grab some of my other stuff over here, it'd be great. Be glad to. Okay. Yeah. Um, so where are you headed, Kyle? Oh, I've got some business to take care of. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Well, what do you say we hit the campaign trail, Reva? Nothing like the morning after. <laughs> 